to sit, sit in a way that is comfortable for you to sit. Activate your feet, spread toes. Use your arms, your hands, and just glide your thighs forward and create space in the top of your hips. And feel for that opening into your lower back. And let your arms rest down onto your thighs. And then lift belly, diaphragm, lift chest. Close your eyes and give yourself a moment to feel yourself landing on your mat. And today, making the intent one of focusing on what is habitual for you. Becoming aware of your own internal dialogue. The negative aspects of that internal dialogue about the what I, what the I can't or I must. You must look like us like in a certain way, you must be able to do this or you can't. Sometimes even the sound of the pose creates a reaction that that leads to you talking yourself out of the pose. So becoming aware of your own internal dialogue. In forests, we speak about catching it recognizing it happens in order to change the particular habits uh, that we do. And uh, Forrest talks about catching it in order to get rid of it, catching it in order to toss it on the fire so that it's done with. If it helps you choose one area to focus your practice today. And with standing poses, feel for connecting with your feet, feeling the energy that you draw from the earth and move it into your body, keeping those as your focus. Open your eyes for wrist stretches. Reach your right hand forward and take hold of the little finger on your right hand and then ease it back. Breathe in, breathe into palm of hand, spread fingers. And as you breathe out, reach your fingers towards the floor. Release, taking hold of your ring finger. Press it down into your right sit bone. Breathe in, lift out of your right side. And as you breathe out, open the hands forward. Release, taking hold of your middle finger. As you breathe, lift sternum. And as you breathe out, stretch the fingers away from each other. And release, taking hold of your first finger. As you inhale, lengthen your thumb away from your little finger. And as you exhale, arm is forward. And release, taking hold of your thumb. Breathe in, glide your thumb away from your index finger. And as you breathe out, keep heel of the hands is reaching forward. Release. Change hands. Take hold of the little finger on your right, left hand and ease it back. And then breathe in, breathe into palm of hands, spread fingers. And as you exhale, heel of the hand is forward. Release, taking hold of your ring finger into your left sit bone. Inhale, lengthen out of left side. And as you exhale, reach the heel of your hands forward. Release, taking hold of your middle finger. Now breathe in, lift chest. And as you breathe out, reach your fingers down towards the floor. Release. Taking hold of your first finger. Breathe in, stretch your thumb away from your little finger. And as you breathe out, stretch each finger away from the other. And release, taking hold of your thumb. 
Now breathe in and glide your thumb away from your index finger. And exhale, heel of the hand is forward. Release. Change the cross of your legs for wrist stretches, stage two. Reach your hands forward, turn the heel of the hands away from you and be on your fingertips. Now breathe in and lengthen out of lower back. And as you exhale, spread the fingers as you reach the heel of the hands forward. As you breathe in, lift belly away from pelvis. And as you exhale, open the hands forward. Now let your shoulders soften away from your ears. Inhale, release. Rich stretches, stage three. So your hands are reaching out towards the thighs, thumbs pointing skywards. Take a deep breath into palm of hands. Hold the breath. Then one by one, bringing in your little finger, ring finger, middle finger, first finger, thumb is on top. Knuckles to the floor, exhale, stretching out the tops of your wrists. Release. Reach your arms out to side, fingers pointing skywards. Breathe in. Hold the breath, then bring in your thumb, and then simultaneously all other fingers to the thumb. Now, on your exhale, stretch your thumb side away from you. Release. Open the hands, thumbs pointing skywards. Breathe into palm of hands. Hold the breath. Then one by one, bringing in your little finger, ring finger, middle finger, first finger, thumb squeezes on top. Knuckles to the floor, exhale as you stretch the tops of your wrist. Release, reach your arms out to the side, fingers pointing skywards, breathe into palm of hands. Hold the breath, then bringing in your thumb and then simultaneously all other fingers to the thumb. And as you exhale, stretch out, stretch your thumb side away from you. And release. Shoelace pose, so pranayama is in shoelace pose, alternate nostril breathing. Bring your left foot over your right. And reach out with your heels. If that's a difficult reach, make that adjustment that feels right for you. The foot can be on the calf. You can stay in cross-legged or you can place your left foot onto a block. Hold the first two fingers down of your right hand. Use your thumb to block right nostril. Inhale through left nostril for five. Block both nostrils, hold the breath, hold for 20. Keep the spine long, keep the feet active. And then notice the chatter that comes up. Exhale through right nostril, exhale for 10. Exhale completely, breathe through the right nostril for, for five. Lock in both nostrils, hold the breath, hold for 20. Exhale, left nostril, exhale. And then release, change the cross of legs. Make the adjustment that feels right for you today. Fold the first two fingers down of your left hand. Use your ring finger to block right nostril. Inhale through the left nostril for five. Lock both nostrils, hold the breath. Hold for 
Exhale, right nostril, exhale for 10. Inhale, right nostril for five. Lock both nostrils, hold the breath, hold for 20. Exhale, left nostril, exhale for 10. Coming into seated side bend with one leg straight. Straighten your left leg. Your left arm up as you open left side ribs. As you breathe out, bring your left arm down on the inside of left leg and relax your left ear to left shoulder. So don't come so deep so that you miss the point, part of the point of the pose as you're lifting out and lengthening the ribs on both sides. So feel as if you're pushing the floor away or use the block to assist. As you breathe in, lift belly, lift diaphragm, lift chest. Breathe out, feel as if you're moving your right shoulder back and away from right ear. Breathe to the right side of your neck, deep breath. And as you breathe out, relax your left ear to left shoulder. So feel the opening through the right side of the neck. Press down into the left sit bone. And as you breathe, feel as if you're lifting low ribs away from sacrum. Feel as if you're blocking your sit bone. On the next breath, as you breathe in, wrap your right arm around the back if you can, tuck it onto your left side, onto the floor or into the waist. The chest and the breathe like as if you're breathing into your collarbones just at the lower part of the right side of the neck. And as you breathe out, reach your right elbow down towards your left sit bone. Deep breath, breathe to sternum, keep lifting, lifting chest up towards chin. And as you breathe out, you're reaching that right elbow away down towards sit bone. Inhale, release your right arm and reach your right arm straight up. Lower your right arm on exhale as you reach it back. So you're moving it back away from your ear. Now breathe. Breathe right between your shoulder blades and feed in the back of heart. And as you exhale, lengthen your right arm back. You now stretch your right arm up towards the ceiling. And as you exhale, lengthen your arm over left, your right ear. Breathe into your right, left ribs and lengthen right, left ribs away from left hip. And as you exhale, as you're lengthening that right arm forward, glide your right sit bone back. Deep breath, spread your lungs out towards your side. And as you exhale, folding forward so the hands are down either side of your left foot. Can be on the floor, the ankle, the calf, the calf or your foot. So don't overstretch in this pose. Be mindful of what is happening for you. And then go into it easily. So breathe in. First lift belly. 
And as you breathe out, feel as if you're moving your chest forward. Use your arms to assist as if you're moving chest forward. Spread the breath into back ribs, deep breaths. And as you exhale, if you can, taking it further forward. Now breathe in, breathe into belly as you lift your belly away from pelvis. And as you exhale, allowing your body to melt forward. Deep breath, breathe to your spot. And exhale, allowing your body to melt forward. Inhale, release, push the floor away, breathe in as you come all the way on back up and change. Straighten your right leg. Right leg is reaching straight forward. And your left foot is tucked in, either heel to groin, or you're moving your left foot back so that the heel is by your glute. And move your thighs away from each other. Feet are active. Your left hand is grabbing hold of the ankle if your foot has come back, or fingertips are to the floor. Press down into right sit bone. Breathe in, reach your right arm is up. As you breathe out, bring your hand down on the inside of your uh, right leg. Relax your right ear to right shoulder. You're not holding left foot with left hand. Lift your left hand up and then reach it back. Now feel as if you're using your left arm to like, pull you up and then reach it away from you. So you feel the opening through left side of neck. Now breathe in, breathe, lift in, breathe in and lift belly. And exhale, relax your left shoulder away from your left ear. Activate your feet, spread toes, spread the force of your feet. Breathe in and lift your left, right ribs away from right hip. And as you exhale, as you slightly roll your chest upwards, slide your left shoulder away from left ear. Breathe into the left side of your neck, deep breath. And exhale, relax your jaw. On the next breath, as you breathe in, slide your left arm all the way around the back and tuck it onto your right thigh, hip or clothing. And as you breathe out, glide your left shoulder away from left ear. Now breathe in, lift. Feel the lifting out of your right side. And as you exhale, your left shoulder glides down, away from left ear. Breathe to sternum, filling your heart up with breath. And as you breathe out, reach your left elbow down towards your uh, right sit bone. Inhale, release your left arm and reach your left arm up towards the sky. And as you exhale, as you arc your chest forward, you're reaching your left arm straight back, chest open. Breathe into back of heart, right between shoulder blades. And as you breathe out, send in that left arm back. Inhale, reach your left arm straight up. So as you reach up, feel your side muscles, the intercostal muscles opening. Now keep lifting out of your right side. On exhale, reach your left arm forward over left ear. Now breathe into lower back, spreading the ribs. Exhale, wrapping your left shoulder as you reach your left arm forward. Breathe to sternum, keep moving chest up towards chin. And exhale as you fold, hands to the floor. So the hands can be on the floor, the calf, the ankle, the foot. Go with what feels right for you today. And then breathe into lower back. With ease, exhale as you fold. Be active. Breathe and lift in belly away from pelvis. And as you breathe out, allowing your body to melt forward. On the next breath, spread the breath into back ribs.
and exhale as you fold. Now give yourself time to notice what you feel and what your habits are in the pose. Try not to be forcing into the pose, but feeling yourself into the pose. Inhale, release, pushing the floor away, breathe in as you come all the way on back up. Unwind the cross of your legs. Lie down on your back for the start of your abdominal sequence. Have your uh, roll close by. So lie down on your back, clasp your hands behind your head and neck and lift your feet up off the floor. The back straight of your feet will be onto the floor. Hands clasped behind head and neck. Press your lower back down to the floor. And then inhale, lift your head, shoulder blades up, away from the floor. Hold the breath. Exhale, close our bone up and reach your elbows to left knee. Now reach your right leg forward about 45 degrees angle. Relax your right hip. Reach your thigh away from the hip. Pull belly in. Inhale, come back to center. Bend the knees, hold the breath, press your lower back to the floor. Exhale, curl your elbows up and reach your elbows to your left knee, the right knee straight and left leg. Reach your right elbow up, shoulder blades off the floor. Relax your left hip and then reach your left thigh forward away from waist. Pull belly in. Inhale, come back to center. Bend the knees, hold the breath and press your lower back to the floor. Exhale, curl the elbows up and reach your elbows to your left knee. Reach your right leg forward, spread the toes, spread the ball of your foot. Reach your left elbow up, the shoulder blades are off the floor. Keep sending your right leg forward. Now pull belly in. Inhale, go back to center. Bend the knees, hold the breath and press the top rib of the sacrum down. Exhale, curl the elbows up, both elbows to your left knee. To right knee, reach your left leg forward. Relax your left hip. Send your left thigh forward away from waist. Pull belly in. Reach your right elbow up. Inhale, come back to center. Bend the knees, hold the breath, and press your lower back to the floor. Exhale, curl the elbow up. Your elbows are to left knee. Now reach your right leg forward. Feel the inside of your thighs, the calves and ankles as you reach your right leg forward, pull belly in. Inhale, come back to center, bend the knees, hold the breath, press your lower back to the floor. Exhale, curl the elbow up and reach your elbows to your right knee, reach your left leg forward, relax your left hip, send the leg forward, feel the inner legs are working, the energy moves through every part of you. Now pull belly in. Inhale, come back to center. Bend the knees, hold the breath, and press your lower back to the floor. Exhale, curl the elbow up. Elbows to left knee. Reach your right leg forward. Relax your right hip. Curl the elbow up. Send your right leg forward. Reach your elbows up. Reach them up. Reach them back. Now pull belly in. Inhale, come back to center. Bend the knees, hold the breath, and press your lower back to the floor. Exhale, curl the elbows up. Your elbows are to right knee. Reach your left leg forward. Spread the toes. Relax your left hip. Curl the elbows up. Send your left leg forward. Lift your chest. Reach your elbows up. Pull belly in. Inhale, come back to center. Bend the knees, hold the breath. Press your lower back to the floor. And exhale, release. Lower head and shoulders down and place the soles of your feet to the floor. Moving into twisting abs. To grab hold of your roll and place the roll between your thighs. Hands are clasped behind your head and neck. Lift your feet up off the floor. Straighten your legs. If your back is tweaky, you can't have the knees bent. You can have the soles of your feet onto the floor or move to the wall and have your heels up against the wall. Legs straight up. 
Press your lower back to floor. Inhale, lift your head, shoulder blades up, away from floor. Hold the breath. Exhale, curl tailbone up. Send your legs straight up and reach both elbows to your left knee. Squeeze the roll. Send your legs straight up. Reach out with active feet. Pull belly in. Inhale, back to center. Hold the breath. Press your lower back to floor. Now squeeze the roll. And as you exhale, curl tailbone up. Reach your elbows to your right knee. Squeeze the roll. Stretch your legs up. Reach out with very active feet. Pull belly in. Inhale, head to center. Hold the breath. Press your lower back down to the floor. Now squeeze the roll. As you exhale, curl tailbone up. Reach your legs straight up. Elbows to your left knee. Squeeze, roll. Squeeze, sit bone to tailbone. Send your legs up as you reach your elbows up. Reach them up. Reach them back as if you're unlocking shoulders. Pull belly in. Inhale, head to center. Hold the breath and press your top rib of the sacrum down. Now squeeze the roll. And as you exhale, curl tailbone up. Reach your legs straight up. Your elbows are to right knee. Squeeze, roll. Squeeze, sit bone to tailbone. Now lengthen your legs up as you reach your elbows up. Reach them up, reach them back. Pull belly in. Inhale, head to center. Hold the breath and press your lower back to the floor. Now squeeze the roll. And as you exhale, curl tailbone up. Reach your legs straight up and elbows to left knee. Squeeze, roll. Squeeze, sit bone to tailbone. Send your legs up as you reach your elbows up. Reach them up, reach them back so your chin is moving away from chest. Pull belly in. Inhale, head to center. Hold the breath and press your lower back down. Now squeeze the roll. As you exhale, curl tailbone up, reach your legs straight up. Your elbows are to right knee. Squeeze, roll. Squeeze, sit bone to tailbone. Stretch your legs up as you reach your elbows up. Pull belly in. Inhale, head to center. Exhale, release. Go ahead and shoulders down and place the soles of your feet down onto the floor. Grab hold of your block. If you have a block for bridge with a block, do bridge with a block or do a bridge with leg raises today. So you have your block in close touching distance. Your lie down on your back with the Knees are bent, the soles of your feet are on the floor. Line up heels with sit bones or heels hip distance apart. Block is within touch and distance. Brush your heels with fingertips and then relax your arms by your side. From here, you breathe in and you lengthen belly away from pelvis. As you press your feet to floor as you exhale, you'll tilt pelvis and lift the pelvis up away from the floor. Then breathe in deeply. Breathe into side ribs as you open your ribs wide out towards the side. Push your heels to the floor and exhale, lift up. Push the floor away, lengthening ankles away from heels. Breathe into lower back. Keep lengthening ribs away from sacral. Moving chest to chin. And as you exhale, feel for lifting up a little bit more. Grab hold of your block. Now breathe in, deep breath, spread ribs. And as you exhale, as you tilt pelvis, place a block under your sacrum. You might need to come up onto, onto your toes to do this. Ensure the block is on the sacrum so it's not onto the spinal column. Arms relaxed by side. Shoulders relaxed away from your knee. Ease your right foot so that the right heel is either hip distance apart 
or it's aligned with your sit bones. Bring it back slightly. Then press down into your right foot. Breathe in, lift your left leg up and draw your left knee towards your chest. Keep pressing your right foot to draw. Now breathe into your left hip, deep breath. And as your right foot presses to the floor, draw your left knee in. Breathe into your left hip, deep breath. And as you breathe out, as you press your right foot down, reach your uh, left leg straight up. Breathe into left hip, deep breath. And as you breathe out, send your left leg up. On the next breath, as you breathe, feel the gliding your left thigh bone away from hip. You can use your left hand by hip, hip crease. And as you exhale, traction in your left thigh out, stretch it up. Press your right foot to the floor. And as you breathe, breathe into left hip. And as you exhale, lengthening your left leg away from you. The heel comes down about six inches from the floor. And then breathe in, bend your left knee, draw the knee towards your chest. And as you breathe out, reaching your left leg out and up towards the sky. Breathe into left hip. And as you breathe out, lowering your left leg away, the heel comes down to about two, maybe three inches away from the floor. Now breathe in and draw your left knee towards your chest. And as you breathe out, lengthening your left leg up towards the ceiling. Take a deep breath into left hip. And as you breathe out, lengthening your left leg away from you. Breathe in, draw your left knee towards your chest. Press your right foot to the floor, and as you exhale, reaching your left leg straight up. Breathe into left hip. And as you breathe out, lengthen. Your right foot presses down, you're lengthening your left leg away. Heel is coming to, almost to the floor. And then breathe in, draw your left knee to chest. Press your right foot down as you exhale, reaching your left leg straight up. Breathe into left hip. And as you exhale, lengthening your left leg away. Breathe in, draw your left knee towards the chest. And as you breathe out, place your left foot to the floor. Line up left heel with left sit bone or hip distance apart. Uh, draw your heel closer back. And as you press into your left leg, breathe in. Lift your right leg up. Draw your right knee towards the chest. And as you breathe out, feel as if you're lengthening left thigh away from you. Now breathe. Breathe into right hip. And as you breathe out, drawing your right knee closer towards right shoulder. On the next breath, release your right leg and then reach your right leg straight up towards the sky. And as you breathe out, press down into your left foot. Use your right hand onto your right thigh, heel of the hands by hip crease. Now breathe in as you breathe into right hip. And as you exhale, press your left foot to the floor, traction your right thigh out and up as if you're unlocking the hips. Breathe into right hip. And as you exhale, send in that right thigh up. One more like this, deep breath. Press your left foot down as you exhale, reaching your right leg up. Relax your hands to the floor. Now breathe into your right hip, deep breath. Hold the breath. Now exhale, lengthen your right leg away from you. The heel is coming almost to the floor. And then breathe in, draw your right knee towards your chest. And as you breathe out, reaching your right leg up, reach out with the ball of your foot. Left foot is still pressing down. Breathe into right hip. Hold the breath. And exhale, lengthening your right leg down to almost heel touches floor. Breathe in, draw your right knee towards your chest. 
And as you breathe out, reach into your right leg out and up. Breathe into right hip. And exhale, lengthening your right leg away from you. Breathe in, draw your right knee towards your chest. And as you breathe out, lengthening your right leg to sky. One more like this, deep breath. Hold the breath. And as you exhale, lengthening your right leg away from you. Inhale, draw your right knee towards the chest. And exhale, place your right foot to the floor. Both feet pressing to the floor. Breathe in, move belly away from pelvis. Chest is moving to chin. Press your feet to floor. And as you exhale, tilt pelvis, lift up. Move the block. Now breathe in deeply. Feel for keep lengthening ribs away from sacrum. And as you exhale, tilt pelvis, lower upper back to floor. Tilt pelvis, lower mid back to floor. Tilt pelvis as you lower all the way down to the floor. Your next pose is twisted root. So you're crossing your left leg over your right. You can move to the wall for this pose. So you can do this pose with your feet onto the floor, your feet onto the wall, or your legs are just reaching up. If you can cross the foot, your left over right. And if you can cross your left ankle onto the right calf, that's where you're going. Clasp your hands behind your head and neck. Press your lower back to floor. And then inhale, lift your head, shoulder blades up, away from the floor. Hold the breath. Now as you exhale, curl tailbone up, and then reach your thighs and knees straight up. Activate your feet. Keep lengthening your legs up, reach your elbows up. Now pull belly in. Inhale, lower pelvis, but keep head and shoulder blades up. Hold the breath. Exhale, curl tailbone up. Now send your thighs and knees straight up. Squeeze thighs, squeeze sit bones and tailbone. Lengthen your knees up as you reach your elbows to sky. Pull belly in. Inhale, lower pelvis, but keep head and shoulder blades up. Hold the breath. As you exhale, curl tailbone up and send the thighs and knees straight up. Squeeze thighs, be active. Squeeze sit bones and tailbone. Send your thighs and knees up as you reach your elbows up. Pull belly in. Inhale, lower your head, lower the shoulders to the floor. Release your hands. Place your hands on the midpoint of your left thigh. Second stage. Now breathe into lower back, spreading ribs. Hold the breath. And as you exhale, as you curl tailbone up, press your hands against the thighs, thighs against hands, squeeze the thighs, pull belly in. Relax pelvis, and then breathe into lower back, spreading ribs to the floor. Hold the breath. And as you exhale, as you curl tailbone up, press your hands against the thighs. Thighs against the hands, squeeze thighs. Pull belly in. Relax pelvis, last one in this. Breathe into lower back, spreading, ribs to floor. Hold the breath. And as you exhale, as you curl tailbone up, press hands into thighs, thighs into hands, squeeze thighs, squeeze sit bones, pull belly in. Inhale, release. Change the cross of legs. Right is over left. If you can, make the second cross, make the second cross. And then clasp your hands behind your head and neck. Press your lower back to floor. Inhale, lift your head, shoulder blades up, away from floor. Hold the breath. Now exhale, curl tailbone up, send thighs and knees straight up. Activate your feet. Pull belly in. Inhale, lower pelvis, but keep head and shoulder blades up. Hold the breath. 
As you exhale, curl tailbone up. Now send the thighs and knees straight up. Squeeze thighs. Be active. Pull belly in. Keep the chest lifted. Reach your elbows up. Pull belly in. Inhale, lower pelvis. Hold the breath and press your lower back to floor. Exhale, curl tailbone up and send thighs and knees straight up. Squeeze thighs, squeeze sit bones, pull belly in. Reach your elbows up, pull belly in and press your lower back to floor. Inhale. Release, lower head and shoulders to the floor. Release your hands, the hands are pressing onto the midpoint of your right thigh. Keep head and shoulders down and breathe into lower back, spreading ribs to floor. Hold the breath. And exhale, curl tailbone up and press hands against the thighs, thighs against the hands. Pull belly in, be active, pull belly in. Relax pelvis. Now breathe into lower back, spreading ribs to floor. Hold the breath. Exhale, curl tailbone up and press hands against the thighs. Thighs against the hands, squeeze thighs, pull belly in. Relax pelvis and breathe into lower back, spreading lower ribs to the floor. Hold the breath. Now exhale, curl tailbone up and press hands against the thighs. Thighs against hands, squeeze thighs, pull lower belly in. Inhale, release. Release your legs. Roll to your right side. Bring your left hand to the floor by chest. Breathe in and exhale, pushing the floor away as you come all the way on up. Come all the way up to standing. Got your legs up. Opening up, we'll work into Agnisara. Today, do Agnisara with hand passes. So you're standing in horse dance. Your knees are bent, your knees are reaching out towards the side. Place your right hand on over the left. Take a deep breath, inhale. And as you exhale, hands to the sky. Now moving the belly. Arms up to side, hands to the chest, breathe in. And exhale, Agnesara, moving the belly. Hands forward, hands back to chest, breathe in. And exhale, Agnesara, moving the belly nice and slow. Hands to chest, breathe in. Hands to earth, exhale, and moving the belly. Left is over, right, breathe in. Hands to sky, exhale. Now move the belly as fast as you can. Hands out to side, hands to chest. Inhale, exhale, and move the belly. Hands forward, hands back to chest. Inhale, exhale, and move. Hands to chest, breathe in. Hands to earth, exhale. And moving belly. And then release. Stand, heel, toe, feet together. And coming back down onto knees, set up a dolphin. So it's today. Dolphin, uh, palms facing down, dolphin, palms facing up. We'll do palms facing down first. If you want to find the hands, then also that is an option for you. Hands onto biceps to measure. 
elbows to the floor. Reach your hands forward, spread the fingers. Check your elbows are aligned with shoulders. The middle fingers are reaching forward. Your forearms are parallel with each other. So one of the things that if you have a, a, a block like this, one of the things to practice is really squeezing your forearms onto that. And again, you start working, activating these, these muscles, your serratus muscles. So when you tuck in, you squeeze in in that way, the shoulders are down, you reach forward and you start to work these muscles. You really want to turn those muscles on uh, in this. Measure. Neck, shoulders relaxed. Take a deep breath into upper back, lift. Spread your back and curl toes on them. Exhale, lift your knees off the floor. Now move your chest away from thighs and knees. Bend your knees. Now breathe into sternum, deep breath. And as you exhale, reach your sit bones back, but take the top ribs away from shoulders. Now breathe into heart, deep breath, feeling for energizing your heart. Your knees are still bent, but exhale, reach back, reach your sit bones back, feel this lengthening through the spine. Relax your neck, relax your shoulders and jaw. Now breathe in, as you breathe, broaden the upper back with your breath. Use your forearms, exhale, and reach back. Pull your belly in as you reach back. Now breathe in, breathe into heart. And as you exhale, as you lengthen back, straighten the legs if you can, and reach the back of the thighs and the back of the calves to the back wall. Deep, deep breaths. And exhale, lengthen back, heels to floor. Chest the thighs and knees. Inhale, release. Bend the knees and come all the way down to the floor. And measure up for dolphin palms facing upwards. So the measurement is the same. Elbows to the floor. Reach your hands forward. Palms are facing upwards. Keep the elbows tucked in so the elbows are as wide, but no wider than the shoulders, maybe narrower than the shoulders. Relax your neck, relax your shoulders, and relax your upper back. Breathe into upper back, lift, spread back, curl toes under. Exhale, lift knees off the floor, and move your chest, and, uh, chest away, chest towards your thighs and knees. Bend the knees. Now breathe in, lengthen your lower ribs away from sacrum. And as you breathe out, reach your sit bones back. Breathe into sternum, filling your heart with breath. And as you exhale, sit bones reaching back. Feel as if you're reaching the heels to the floor, but focus on lengthening through the spine. Breathe into side ribs, feel your ribs as they open wide to armpits. Now exhale, lengthen, lengthen your back ribs, top ribs away from shoulders. Breathe into heart, deep breath. On the exhale, reach back, straighten your legs if you can, and reach your heels to the floor. One more breath here, inhale. Exhale, release, bend the knees, and come all the way on down to the floor. Take a breath. From here, coming into downward facing dog. So bring your hands under the shoulders. Curl the toes under. Now take a deep breath into lower back. And as you exhale, lift your knees off the floor and then move your chest back to the thighs and knees. On the breath as you breathe in, rise up onto your tiptoes. And as you exhale, reach back, heels to floor, chest to thighs and knees. Now breathe in, rise up to the very tips of toes. And as you exhale, lengthen back. Feel as if you're moving belly away from tops of thighs. 
One more, breathe in and rise up, very tips of the head. And exhale, reach it back. Now from here, release, bend the knees and come all the way down to the floor. I'll show you where we're going, where we're going next with this. We're coming into downward facing dog, just watch. Down facing them. Your hands are under the shoulders, knees under the hips. You breathe in, you exhale, you lift up, and you reach back. So you really feel the lengthening through the spine in this pose. So you're not sort of hanging here, you're really lengthening out. So every part of you is working. You stay, you stay here for a couple of breaths, and then you're going to reach your uh, uh, right hand back as you would for when we're doing flash prep, but only flash prep usually will do this with knee, knee, uh, four arms to the floor and working in flash prep. So we do dolphin flash prep. Today, we're going to work with um, downward dog flash prep. So here, you're working in this way. Breathe in, and as you exhale, you're working for this lengthening. Breathe in. And as you exhale, sending your sit bones back. Keep tucking your elbow in. So we'll do that three breaths one side, three breaths the other side. Okay. You will feel this opening into back, into hamstrings, into calves, and actually standing. Coming into down, in downward facing dog. Inhale. Exhale, lift up, and then reach back. Heels to floor, chest to thighs and knees. Now breathe in deeply. And as you exhale, reach your sit bones back. Deep breath, inhale. And as you exhale, pushing the floor away, lengthen through the spine as you reach your sit bones back, heels to the floor. From here, step your uh, left hand stays where it is, bring your right hand back, and you will feel it. You'll keep bringing the right hand back, and then make sure that your, uh, your elbow and your wrist are aligned. Tuck your elbow in. Now breathe in. As you breathe, lengthen your uh, left side ribs away from your left shoulder and armpit. And as you breathe out, reach your sit bones back. Tuck your right elbow in. And then breathe in. Keep lengthening out of your left side. Pull your belly in. Exhale as you reach back. From here, if you want to go further, your right hand is onto the floor, your right foot is down, breathe in, and lift your left leg up. And as you exhale, you reach it back. Now breathe in. Feel as if you're breathing into your left armpit. And as you exhale, reach back. One more breath like this, deep breath. As you exhale, lengthen back. Keep tucking both elbows in so you're wrapping the shoulders. Face your left foot to the floor and then face your right hand back to downward facing dog. Now take a deep breath, breathe into your right armpit. And as you exhale, lengthen through the spine as you reach your sit bones back. Heels are reaching to the floor. You can walk your feet in as your hamstrings open, as the back of your calves open. Now breathe in and spread, spread your ribs wide to armpit. And as you exhale, reach it back, heels to floor. Bring your left hand back, so for flash prep. Your left elbow is reaching back to, your left hand is reaching back to your left foot. The elbow and wrist are aligned. Now breathe in deeply. And as you exhale, reach your sit bones back. Feel as if you're pushing the floor away with your right hand. Tuck your left elbow in. And breathe in, breathe in deeply. And exhale, pull your belly in, reach your sit bones back. You're working with one leg up, press your left foot to the floor. Breathe in, lift your right leg up. And as you exhale, reach it back. Breathe into your right hip, deep breath. And as you exhale, sending that right leg away from you. 
as you breathe, breathe into your right armpit. And as you exhale, push the floor away with your left arm and left foot as you reach your right leg back. On the next breath, lower your right foot to the floor and place your left arm back to where you started, downward facing dog. Now breathe into back ribs, broaden the back ribs. And as you exhale, reach into your sit bones back. On the next breath as you breathe in, lift your left leg up. And as you breathe out, reach it back. On the next breath as you breathe in, step your left foot forward between the hands, place your left foot to the floor, and then place your right knee down. Release your right foot, and then lift your right knee off the floor, reach it back for arrow lunge. You can keep the hands here, or bringing the hands up onto your left thigh, traction in your left thigh forward. Now breathe in, as you breathe, your left and ribs away from waist. And as you exhale, go in a little deeper. Deep breath, lift belly, diaphragm, lift chest. And as you exhale, go in a little deeper. One more breath there, deep breath. And exhale, release, hands down. Step your left leg back, step it back for plank. Reach it back into heels. And as you breathe that lower down, keeping the elbows tucked in. Cobra, inhale. Move chest and ribs forward as you lengthening your legs back. And as you breathe out, release, slow down, curl toes under, press it back, downward facing dog. Feeling for pushing floor away in downward dog. Press down into your left foot, breathe in, lift your right leg up. As you exhale, reach it back. On the next breath, rise up on the tiptoes of your left foot. Step your right foot forward between the hands. Place your left knee to the floor and release the back foot. Then push the floor away as you lift up for arrow lunge. Your hands are either onto the floor or they're onto your right thigh. As you breathe in, feel as if you're lengthening away from your left thigh. And as you exhale, deep breath, inhale. And as you exhale, reach your left leg back. Inhale, release, hands to the floor. Step your right leg back for plank. Reach back into heels. And as you breathe out, lower down, keeping the elbows tucked in. Cobra, inhale, moving chest and ribs forward as you lengthen the legs back. And exhale, press it back, downward facing dog. Push your floor away in downward dog. Anchor into your right leg, breathe and lift your left leg up. And as you exhale, reach it back. On the next breath as you breathe in, step your left foot forward between the hands for arrow lunge. Your right knees on the floor. Release your back foot. And then keeping the hands to the floor, lift your right knee off the floor, straighten that right leg. You're going further, bring your hands onto your left thigh, traction your left thigh forward. And if you're going further, reaching your arms up towards the sky. Press into your left foot as you breathe in, lift away, push the floor away with your left foot as you stretch up. And as you exhale, go in a little deeper, reach back into that right leg. Deep breath, inhale. Exhale, release. Hands to the floor and place your right knee to the floor. Set up the lounge lounge. Your right hand comes forward about 10 inches ahead of the shoulder. Glide your left thigh forward. Reach your right leg back and as you breathe in, lengthening the ribs forward on your right side. And as you breathe out, arc your chest and side ribs to the inside of left thigh. Left foot presses the floor. Breathe in, glide your belly forward away from hip. And as you breathe out, your chest is arched towards your left thigh. That right foot is active, reach it back. Now breathe to sternum, keep moving chest forward. And as you exhale, you're sending your right leg back. Inhale, release, hands down either side of your front foot, your left foot, step back for downward facing dog. And feel 
to push and blow away in downward dog. In downward dog, as you breathe in, rise up onto tiptoes. And exhale, lengthen through the spine as you reach back, chest to thighs and knees, heels to the floor. Breathe in to rise up, tippy toes. Now exhale, feel for that length and reach back. Pull your belly in as you reach back. Anchor into left leg, breathe in, lift your right leg up. And exhale, reach it back. On the next breath, as you breathe in, step your right leg forward between the hands. Right foot is the floor. Place your left knee down and release the back foot. Then lift your knee off the floor for arrow lunge. Hands are on the floor, your thigh, or you're reaching your arms up to sky. Press back into your left leg, breathe in, lengthen away from left hip. And as you exhale, as you're taking it a little deeper. One more breath like this, deep breath. Exhale, release, hands down, place your left knee to the floor. Bring your left hand forward about 10 inches ahead of the shoulder. Send your left leg back, your right hand is on to thigh. Now as you're breathing, glide your ribs forward on your left side. Press your right foot to the floor as you arc your side ribs to inside of your right leg. Breathe into lower back, keep lengthening the ribs forward. And as you exhale, feel as if you're moving chest towards the inside of right leg. Deep breath, breathe the sternum. And exhale as you're taking it a little deeper. Inhale, release. Step back for downward facing dog. Feeling for pushing floor away in downward dog. Now breathe in and rise up onto tiptoes. Exhale, lengthen through the spine, reach your sit bones back, heels to the floor. Breathe in and rise up. Now on exhale, really pull your belly in, moving your sternum back towards your shins. Pull your belly in, reach heels to the floor. From here, walk your feet forward towards your hands. And then stand all the way up. So we're coming into a series of poses that will be continuously on one side and then the other side. Coming into some standing poses. So stand at the front of your mat. Standing at the front of your mat. Inhale, step your right leg back for warrior two. The arms reach out towards the side. The front heels align with the arc of the back foot. Bend the front knee and reach back into your right leg. Relax your arms down by your side, shoulders front. Take a deep breath into the upper back. Hold the breath, shoulders up, hold the breath, shoulders back, and exhale, squeeze top tips of shoulders, draw down. Inhale, spread. Hold the breath, shoulders up, hold the breath, shoulders back, and exhale, squeeze mid tips of shoulders, draw down. Inhale, spread. Hold the breath, shoulders up, hold the breath, shoulders back, elbows bent, and exhale, squeeze, the low tips of shoulders, draw down. Inhale, spread. Hold the breath, shoulders up. Hold the breath, shoulders back. And exhale, squeeze top tips of shoulders, draw down. Inhale, spread. Hold the breath, shoulders up. Hold the breath, shoulders back. And exhale, squeeze the mid tips of shoulders, draw down. Inhale, spread. Hold the breath, shoulders up, hold the breath, shoulders back, and exhale, squeeze the low tips of shoulders, draw down, release, float your arms out. Your next pose is eagle, so press down into both legs, inhale, bring your left arm over right, and bind the hand. And as you breathe out, draw your arm bones back to shoulders. 
Press your feet to the floor. Breathe in. Breathe the sternum. Lift chest. And as you breathe out, lift your chest. Reach your arms forward. Forearms are reaching forward. Breathe into back of heart, right between shoulder blades. And as you exhale, reach forward. Inhale, release. Float your arms out to side. Archer, reach your left arm up. Breathe in. Bend the elbow, reach it back. Bring the right arm around the back and bind the hands or use a strap to bind. Or using your right hand to reach your left elbow up so you're unlocking the shoulder. Pressing down into both feet, breathing telescoping ribs up. And as you exhale, as you reach your left elbow up, glide your right shoulder away from your ear. Deep breath, inhale, lift down, lift your chest bones up. And as you exhale, as you reach your left elbow up, glide your right shoulder down. One more like this, deep breath. Exhale, release, float your arms out to side. From here, triangle, straighten your left leg. As you breathe in, you're reaching your left arm down towards the floor, towards the floor, the block, the ankle, or the calf, and reach your right arm up. Shoulders that are aligned. Press into your left leg, breathe in, lengthen ribs away from left hip. And as you exhale, as you reach your right arm up, Slide your right hip back, so you feel the opening into hips into thumbs. Now breathe in, lengthen low ribs away from sacrum. And as you exhale, open up as you're reaching your right fingertips to start. Place your right hand onto hip or sacrum. Bend your left knee. So you're coming into half moon. So your left hand is onto the floor, about 12 inches forward, 6 inches towards the side. As you're breathing, ease forward, stand on your left leg, lift your right leg up. And as you breathe out, reach back into your right heel. You're going further, reaching your right arm up towards the sky. As you inhale, lift out of your left side. And as you exhale, reach your right heel away from you as you're reaching your right arm up. Deep breath, inhale, keep lengthening ribs away from sacrum. And as you exhale, send that right heel back, that right hand reaches up. Vertical splits, bring the hands down either side of your front foot. And then reach your right leg up, reach up. If you can, walk your hands closer towards your standing leg. As you breathe, keep traction in belly, away from left thigh. And as you exhale, push the floor away as you bring your forehead, sternum is coming down towards your left shin. One more breath like this, deep breath. And exhale, step your right leg back, warrior one. Ease your left foot towards the left edge of the mat, right foot towards the right edge. Push the floor away as you rise up for warrior one. From here, same pose and breathe, keep pushing the floor away as you lift up. And as you breathe out, your right hip is forward, left hip is back. Press down into your left foot, breathe in, lift out of your left side. And as you exhale, go in a little deeper. Twisting warrior, place your left hand onto left thigh, breathe in, reach your right arm up. And as you exhale, your right elbow is over your left thigh knee. Make a fist, your left hand is on top. Now breathe in, glide your ribs forward away from right hip. And as you breathe out, as you twist to the left, glide your left hip back. Breathe to sternum, energize your heart with this breath. And as you breathe out, twist. Now breathe to your area. And as you exhale, gliding both shoulders away from your ears. Twisting warrior interlock. Slide your right arm over and then under your left thigh. Left arm is around the back, bind the hands, or use a strap to bind, or use clothing. Or you can place your right knee to the floor for twisting lunge interlock. Now breathe in, gliding your ribs away from right hip. And as you exhale, twisting towards the left. 
deep breath, inhale, breathe to sternum. And as you exhale, as you twist to the left, glide your left shoulder away from left hip. One more breath like this, deep breath. And exhale, release. Place your right hand to the floor on the outside of your left foot. For ex extended twisting warrior, your left arm is reaching up towards the sky. Press back into your right leg, breathe in, lengthen, ribs away from hip. And as you exhale, as you reach your left arm up, glide your left sit bone back. Breathe in, glide your ribs away from left hip. And as you exhale, you twist to the left, glide your ribs away from right hip. And then inhale, release. From here, your next pose is pyramid. So ease your right foot forward slightly and then turn so that the hips are squared on. You're tractioning your left thigh away from hip. So you breathe in, lift and lengthen away from pelvis. And as you exhale, you're folding forward, hands to the floor, neck is relaxed. So breathe into lower back, lengthen ribs away from waist. And exhale, pull belly in. Keep lengthening belly away from left thigh, moving chest towards your shin, forehead to ankle. One more like this, deep breath. And exhale, release. Place your right knee down to the floor. The pigeon is your left foot towards the right edge of the mat. If you can, straighten your right leg, reach it back. You have the option of having the toes curled on the, of your right foot so the knee is off the floor. So the knee is off the floor and you fold it forward or the knees down and release the back foot. Now breathe in as you breathe, keep moving belly forward away from pelvis. And as you exhale, reach back, reach back into your uh, right big toe or right heel. And breathe in deeply, keep lengthening low ribs away from sacrum. And as you exhale, allowing your body to melt, feet remains active. Now breathe in and spread, spread your ribs wide out towards your armpits. And as you exhale, pull your belly in, glad your left thigh forward as you reach back into your right big toe. Then release, hands under the shoulders, curl the toes under and step back, step it back for downward facing dog, and then walk your feet forward to your hands, stand at the front of mat. Now one side is really open, we work the other side, standing at the front of your mat, inhale, step your left leg back for warrior two, Front heels align with the arc of the back foot. Bend the front knee and reach back into your left leg. Let your arms relax by your side. Stand up for shoulder shrug. Arms relax. Take a deep breath into upper back. Hold the breath, shoulders up. Hold the breath, shoulders back. And exhale, squeeze the top tips of shoulders. Draw down. Inhale, spread. Hold the breath, shoulders up. Hold the breath, shoulders back, and exhale, squeeze, mid tips of shoulders, draw down. Inhale, spread. Hold the breath, shoulders up, hold the breath, shoulders back, elbows bent, and exhale, squeeze, the low tips of shoulders, draw down. Inhale, spread. Hold the breath, shoulders up, hold the breath, shoulders back, exhale, squeeze, top tips of shoulders, draw down. Inhale, spread. Hold the breath, shoulders up. Hold the breath, shoulders back. Exhale, squeeze. Mid tips of shoulders, draw down. Inhale, spread. Hold the breath, shoulders up. Hold the breath, shoulders back. Elbows bent. Exhale, squeeze. Low tips of shoulders, draw down. 
Release, float your arms out to side. Eagle, warrior. As you breathe in, bring your right arm over left and bind the hands. And as you breathe out, glide your shoulders back. Press your feet to the floor, and as you breathe in, lift up. Lift belly, dive up, lift chest. And as you breathe out, reaching your forearms forward. Now breathe into the opening into the back and feeling your heart up with breath. And as you breathe out, reach your forearms forward. Inhale, release. Float your arms out to side. Arch up. As you breathe in, reach your right arm up. Bend the elbow, reach it back. Bring your left arm around the back and bind the hands. Or use a strap to bind. Or use your left hand to reach in your right elbow up. Press down into your uh, right foot, and as you breathe in, tell it's open ribs up. And as you breathe out, keep reaching your right elbow up, but soften the shoulder down. As you breathe, keep lifting sternum. And as you exhale, glide your left shoulder away from your left ear. Right elbow is reaching up. Breathe into your right armpit, and you use this to open up. And as you exhale, as your right elbow reaches up, your left shoulder is down. Arms move in opposite directions. Inhale, release. Put your arms out to side. Triangle, straighten your right leg. And as you breathe in, reaching your right arm down as you reach your left arm up. That hand will be on the floor, the ankle, the calf, or a block. Press into your that right leg, glide your ribs away from hip. And as you exhale, as you lengthen your left arm up, glide your left hip back. Anchor your left foot to the floor, and then breathe in. Feel the lengthening through the whole of the left side of your body, all the way up to fingertip. And as you breathe in, breathe out, tuck your right sit bone under, glide your left hip back. Press into your right leg, breathe in, glide your ribs away from right hip. And as you exhale, feel as if you're sending your right sit bone back. Place your left hand onto left hip, bend your right knee. Place your right hand onto the floor, 12 inches forward, six inches to the outside of your right leg. And then as you breathe in, ease forward, transfer the weight into your right leg. Lift your left leg up, reach it back, reach out with your heel. When you're ready to go further, half moon, stretch your left arm up as you reach your left leg back. Now breathe in, feel a, a, a kind of weightlessness as you lift away from your right thigh. And as you exhale, reach back into your left heel as your left arm reaches the sky. Breathe to heart, deep breath. And as you exhale, lengthening that leg away from you. Vertical splits. Bring your hands down either side of your right foot. And then reaching your left leg out and up towards the sky. Your forehead is coming down towards your shin or your ankle. Hands either side of your front foot. Press your right foot to the floor. Breathe in, lengthen belly away from the thighs. And as you exhale, you fold your hips a little deeper. One more breath like this, deep breath. And exhale, step your left leg back, set up for warrior one. Right foot towards the right edge of the mat, left foot towards the left edge of the mat. Push the floor away as you're reaching your arms out and up the wall. Press into both legs, bring your telescoping ribs up. And as you exhale, taking it a little deeper. Twisting warrior, right hand is on to right thigh. Inhale, stretch your left arm is up. And as you breathe out, your left elbow is over the right thigh knee. Make a fist with left hand, right hand is on top. As you breathe, guide your ribs away from left hip. As you exhale, twist to the right. Now breathe in, spread the breath into back ribs. And as you exhale, as you twist towards the right, glide your right hip back. Breathe the sternum. Mm -hmm. Exhale, both shoulders down. Interlock, 
slide your left arm over and then under your right thigh. The right arm is around the back, by the hand. You can place your knee to the floor or use the strap to bow. Now breathe in as you breathe. Keep lengthening your ribs away from your left hip. And as you exhale, push the floor away with your right foot as you twist to the right. Deep breath, lengthening belly forward away from pelvis. And exhale, twist, twist to the right. One more like this, inhale. And exhale, twist. Release your right hand, left hand down to the outside of your right foot and reach your right arm up to the sky. Extended twisting warrior. As you press back into your left leg, breathe in, lengthen ribs forward. And as you exhale, roll your chest open towards the right as you reach your right fingertips skyward. Now balloon the breath into back ribs. And as you exhale, open, push the floor away with your left arm as you open up towards the right. Inhale, release. Bring your hands down and step your left foot forward about 10 inches. Your feet there parallel with your hips facing forward. Head up a pyramid, press into your right leg, breathe in, lift and lengthen belly away from thigh. And as you exhale, lengthen through the spine as you fold. Keep the back of the neck long and relax. Breathe into lower back as you lengthen ribs away from sacrum. And exhale, pull belly in, send straighten the legs if you can. Now breathe in, keep moving belly away from your right thigh. And exhale, fold. Inhale, release. Step your left leg back slightly and then bring your right foot towards the left edge of the mat for pigeon. Reach your left leg back away from you. You can have the toes curled under and knees off the floor or the straight in the back leg. In, either, in any event, you aim to straighten the back leg. As you breathe in, lift and lengthen belly away from pelvis. And as you exhale, fold forward over your right shin. Both feet are active. Now breathe, breathe into lower back as you lengthen your ribs away from waist. And as you exhale, as you fold, pull belly in. Breathe into side ribs, spread your ribs wide to armpit. And exhale, fold, be active. So breathe into your spot. Exhale, release. Ease your hands under the shoulders. Step back into downward facing dog. Feeling for pushing floor away in your downward facing dog. From downward facing dog, uh, step your inhale, step your left foot forward between the hands. Then turn so that both feet are facing the same direction. So you're here in this position, both feet are facing in the same direction. You're coming into a, a straddle forward bend. Your hands will be clasped behind your head and neck. You press your feet into floor, you're lifting up. And as you exhale, you're folding forward, your elbows are reaching to the floor, your forearms touch onto jawbone. Sometimes they, they will say to you, you can grab your hair with your hands, and then feel as if you're reaching your head down. So it gives your, it tractions your neck. It moves your belly away from pelvis and lengthens your lower back. So press your feet to the floor. And as you breathe in, traction, lengthen, reaching head to forehead down. Keep moving belly away from pelvis. Press feet to floor and breathe in, lengthen lower ribs away from waist. And as you exhale, taking it a little deeper. Deep breath, lengthen belly away from pelvis. 
and exhale, elbows to floor. One more like this, deep breath. And release. Bring your hands onto thighs. Push the floor away, breathe in, come all the way up, or come all the way down. Bring it down. Push your back to lie down on your back. So you can lie down with your legs straight, bring your feet a little bit wider on your mat if you do so, or the soles of your feet together, or the soles of your feet flat to the floor. You can also move to the wall and have your sit bones up to the wall and your legs are straight up. Just lie down, allow your body to let go and feel the energy that now is moves through your body. Feel your mind. Eyes are closed. You relax your skull bones and relax your forehead. Eyes are relaxed. Relax your nose. And relax your jaw. So this is a, a good moment to open your mouth and moving jaw from side to side. Relax your neck and soften the shoulders away from your ears, creating more space and length into your neck. Don't force. Relax your collarbones and relax your upper back. Let your upper back broaden on your mat as you let go. And then feel as if you're sinking into the mat. Sinking in, in such a way that you feel the foundation of the earth beneath you. And feel held. Relax your mid back. And as you work towards your lower back, slightly send sit bones to heels so your back opens up even more. And again, feel yourself as if you've been held. Feel for lengthening thighs away from hips and pelvis, and then relax your pelvis. Relax your thighs hamstrings and quadriceps and relax your knees, the side of your knees, the back of your knees and front of your knees. Relax your calves, allow them to be started, let them lengthen down towards your ankles and then relax your shins, ankles and heels. Relax your heels, relax your feet and toes. Now relax your belly completely and see how it opens your back a little bit more. Relax your diaphragm and relax your chest. Let your arms go. And relax your shoulders and triceps. Relax your biceps. Relax your elbows, your forearms and wrists, and relax your hands and fingers. Still your mind. Let go of the chatter, let go of the icons, feeling yourself up with a, a different narrative, a more wholesome and positive narrative.
as you lie here, begin to feel the energy easing back into your body. You feel that energy. Allow it to spread through every part of you, through the heels, fin to feet, into ankles, calves, into thighs. Allowing it move right through your body, up into brains, out to fingertips. And on your next breath, stretch in a way that feels good to you. Once you've given yourself a really nice stretch, roll to your left side towards your heart center. Bring your right hand to the floor by your chest, breathe in. And as you exhale, push the floor away with your right hand, come up and use your left hand to support your head and neck as you come all the way on back. Sitting up tall with your hands together, the thumbs are lightly touching sternum. And then notice how you feel. Congratulate yourself for your practice today. Really well done. And thank you for allowing me to guide you through your practice. Honour yourself and honour your practice. As we finish with the breath, inhale. And exhale. Namaste. Well done, everyone.